I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try Vim. I've never tried Vim before, never used it before, but I hear great things. I hear mixed things. I hear mixed things. I'm on a Mac. I don't even know if this is gonna work on a Mac. I'm brand new to this and I use VS Code normally. So I wanna know what Vim is all about. And so far they're about the ugliest website I've seen in a long time. Oh, I can install it via Homebrew. Brew install Vim. That's what I need right there. That's easy. Let's pop open a new term. I already have Homebrew installed. If you don't have Homebrew installed, I have a video on how to do that. I'll link to it down below. And Brew Homebrew is a package manager for Max. All I gotta do is say Brew install Vim. There we go. That makes it nice and easy. So if I say Vim version, looks like it works. Now I need a project. You know what? I'll just create a new directory for React. We haven't done React for a while here, so why not? npx create react app dash dash template TypeScript. It needs a directory, of course. My React app one. I'm just scaffolding out a brand new React project using TypeScript. What do I do to open that project up in Vim? Let's just try something. I haven't read any docs yet, but let's try Vim. Now I heard that it's hard to exit Vim, so it says type colon Q enter to exit. I'll have to remember that. So where's my project? There's beeps. Okay, let's do. Okay, I was able to exit Vim. <laughs> I already consider my experiment a success. I don't need to do anything else, do I? So I probably should go into a directory here and pick a file that I want to work on. That can't be right. You should be able to work on multiple files at the same time and navigate between them. I don't know, but let's let's give it a file like index vim index.tsx. There it is. Look at that. Cool. It's just text on a screen. How is this different than Nano? Nano is another editor that I've used a couple of times when I just want to quickly get in there and edit something real quick right in the file. And I can just say nano index.tsx. And there you go. I can do the same thing here, except this one gives me a menu at least at the bottom. Control X exits. There's got to be a way to open up a folder structure in Vim, right? What if I type in Vim help? Will that give me anything? Okay, good. Look at this. It gives me some kind of uh, options here at least. Edit specified files. There's an easy mode. You need to watch a video to learn how to do pasting. Really? Wow. Learning Vim playfully, especially useful for absolute beginners who fear being bored. <laughs> I like it. That's me. I want to learn Vim playfully. Oh, it's a game. Vim Adventures. Press any key to start. Okay, I'm going to be playing a game. <laughs> Hello world. L H K J. Oh, is this supposed to be like my navigation through the files? Why can't I just use the arrow keys then? Really? I need to use J and K instead of up and down? I don't know if I'll have the patience for this. I think I need to watch some videos. There is a Vim tutorial for beginners and it's an hour and a half long. Seriously, I open up VS Code and I know how to use it instantly. I don't need to spend an hour and a half learning how to use it. Can I just get started with Vim? Here's the primogen, the basic Vim movements. Oh, here's a Ben Awad, Ben Awad. I think it's Awad, Vim tutorial. Uh, oh, he's using K's and J's, great. So I like this thumbnail right here by the primogen. He knows how to make good thumbnails. Let's My check it out. Primogen and he's using a plugin for IntelliJ that simulates something like Vim. Is there a VS Code plugin? VS Code Vim, <laughs> yes. Maybe I need this. Why would I use VS Code Vim? I have to open up VS Code and then I have to open up Vim? Let's try it, why the heck not? Install, it's installed. Let's open up my React app. That's nice, but I'm still, you're just using VS Code, not Vim. Toggle Vim mode, nothing happened. This is probably not what you're supposed to be doing. There's the Vim command line up there. And if I press colon Q, it closes the file. <laughs> I feel like I'm scratching my right ear with my left hand. Why would I do that? Let's create this settings.json file. I'm just gonna replace what they have here with what I copied. I'm gonna be a real programmer today, ladies and gentlemen. A real programmer. I could like learn a framework, a new framework. I wanted to learn solid. It'll probably take me less time to learn that than Vim. Look at all this. And this is just the plugin. Oh my gosh. The initial part is always the hardest. Yeah, the initial part is always the hardest because I don't know where the hell to even start. It should just come naturally. G and K to move up and down, H and L to move left and right. Why can't you use the arrow keys? So I guess Vim is gonna speed you up to a point where you're just a machine and you're pumping out code like 
insanely fast. Is that what's going on here? Is that why you would use Vim? That's why you need to learn W to hop forward by a word. How did he get the syntax highlighting? Mine didn't have that. It should just come naturally. There is no arrow keys, even though they work. You're not supposed to use them. Aha, there it is. J is going down, K is going up. And then H is going that way, that way. And then W skips a word. That's useful. Copy and pasting. Let me try that. YY will yank a line. Oh, yank means copy. Okay. I guess that's uh, Vim speak. Not copy line, it's yank. YY is going to yank that line and P is going to copy that and paste that line. Just paste. Okay. YY? Why? Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I'm flying over here. YY. P. Oh, yeah. YY is the whole line, okay? How do I select? Oh, look at that. I can hold down shift and one of these keys H and L and it jumps all the way to the end of the file in the beginning of the file. That's cool. What the hell did I just do? Oh no, I went to commands mode manual. Shoot. Oh, I'm back to my file. I guess I'm not getting any work done today. Now I'm using TypeScript. I really want to jump to the part where I get to hop between files. And in VS Code, I can press F12 and hop to definition of another, of a class, for example. I really hope I can do that here too, but I don't know. How long I'll until we get to that point? I'd actually delete starting from my word and forth. Yeah, but how do I get colors in my Vim? Vim syntax highlighting. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn on and off syntax highlighting by pressing escape and use command as colon syntax on and off. Let's try that. Escape colon syntax on. Boom. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so happy about this. It's a six minute video and he's like filling my brain with all these commands. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is a good video right here. Not an hour and a half video to get started. This is a six minute video and he manages to pack all this valuable information. It should just come naturally. One of those situations that I got myself into that I can't get out of. Why doesn't it insert the new one? Am I in some kind of weird mode? Oh no, the syntax highlighting is not on by default. Oh no, enter is working. I can't even quit now? That needs to work! I have to do that every single time? I swear, I was able to quit just a minute ago. It doesn't work anymore. It should just come naturally. Enter would have worked in VS Code and any other normal editor, but here it does not. I knew this was not going to be an easy thing. I knew this was going to be a pain in the ass, but I've subjected myself to it and now I got to deal with, with it. So I'm going to try and uh, use Vim for a week and see if I get anywhere with it. This is gonna be painful. I'm trying to grow that part of my brain that uses key combinations and fingers instead of the mouse all the time. And the only way to do it is through a little bit of pain. Okay. I've had an experience and I'm ready to talk about it. I can sit here and tell you that things went well, but things didn't. I can start making excuses for why I didn't stick with it. I'm back to using VS Code daily, by the way. And I can even tell you uh, a metaphor that I came up with. Imagine uh, you're a left-handed person and you go out in the world and you encounter all these right-handed things like, uh, I don't know, oven gloves and tools and scissors. And being a left-handed person, what do you do when you encounter those things? Do you learn to use your right hand? You could, or you can just use your left hand and get things done at the end of the day. And isn't that what's important? At the end of the day, we want to get things done. And the way I get things done is by using VS Code. Yes, of course, if I learned Vim and if I invested the time in it, which I'm admitting to not wanting to do, I'm admitting, okay? I, I, I messed up. I tried it for a little bit, but I just eventually fell back to using VS Code where I can get my work done. Now, if you're in a position where you can spend and invest the time and learn about Vim and how to properly use it, then you're probably going to be a way faster programmer than me. Heck, if you start using VS Code with the Vim plugin, you might have the best of all worlds and become a 10x or 100x developer. I will own the fact that I did not want to invest that kind of time because I just, I want to get things done. So the real reason why I failed at this task is Probably laziness. If you do want to learn Vim, check out the Primogen. Since I shot the beginning of this video, he came up with a whole program of sequence of videos you can follow. Do you use Vim right now? I'd like to know in the comments how many of you actually use it. And if there's another editor you prefer, also write that down. Thanks, and I hope you stay healthy and well, and I'll be back.